Well, up first, we are talking about the CAF Air Show of 2019. And joining us now, we have Chris Houston, the Air Show Operations, who does handle the Air Show Operations. And then we have David Houston, who is the Air Show Chairman. So thank you both so much for coming in today. Thanks for having us. Thank, thank you. you. So let's talk about the Air Show of 2019 this year. I know we had you all in last year, talk, or I think maybe last year or the year before, because I know ago. that there was that kind of year where there wasn't one. Right. So now we're excited because here we go again. That's right. Yes. Unfortunately, we had to move out of Brownsville, right. where, where we did air shows for 28 years. Mm -hmm. And we've moved to the Cameron County Airport, which is between Bayview and Laguna Vista. It's right next to the det 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 detention center. Oh. <laughs> and it's beautiful, historical airport. So we're very excited to be able to do our show there. Awesome. How exciting. And so what can we look forward to this year um, at, behind the air show? Well, it's a fan family friendly event. I mean, we, we love having kids out there. In fact, kids under 12 are free. Awesome. Yeah, and because we don't think they'll stay under 12 forever. Right. So, so <laughs> but we want we want them to get a, to develop a love for aviation. And, and so we try to make it as family friendly as we can. Most definitely. And so what's kind of the, the, the I guess, as far as the air show has been around for over, you know, 20 years. So kind of tell me a little bit about what was the reasoning behind to kind of start something like this here in the Valley. Well, we are a chapter of the commemorative Air Force. We're mm -hmm. called the Rio Grande Valley Wing. And this is our chief fundraiser, quite mm -hmm. frankly. It's about the only thing we can do that we know how to do that, that, that can actually make us some money. So that's why we do air shows. But secondarily, we, we, we like to educate the public. Of course. Um, old and young and alike. And, and the airport is so historically valuable that it just makes sense for us to do an air show out there. Of course. And so what kind of goes behind planning something like this, something so, I have to imagine, it's kind of elaborate and, you know. It takes us a year to do it. Yeah, of course. It really does. Uh, it's a big job putting on an air show, and, and we do it all with all volunteers. Mm -hmm. We have absolutely no paid staff whatsoever. Wow. And um, it's just, it's a labor of love. It really is. Wow, that's fantastic. And so you've had people come out. Um, I'm sure you've had people who have returned year after year to go and enjoy this event. Um, so tell me a little bit about what people are saying when they come out, whether it's their first time or it's their returning for a second or third year. We get, generally we get very, very positive results because people see things at our air show that you just can't see any place else. Right. And it's different up close and personal. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it, it definitely looks um, pretty exciting. And we have a little video kind of running here of just, you know, kind of what you might see out there if you do go out there. Well, one of our main missions mm -hmm. of the museum itself and the air show is education. Mm -hmm. And so many children never have the opportunity to be up close to right. the airplanes. Mm -hmm. And we have all kinds of different airplanes. We have antique airplanes. We have airplanes from World War II. We have modern military. And so the kids really get to get up close and personal mm -hmm. uh, and see it and hear it and uh, feel the vibration and the smoke. Uh, it's a, it's a once-in-a-lifetime type of experience for a lot of them. Yeah, most definitely, and it definitely looks like that as well, just by taking um, a, a, just a quick glance at, you know, what you all have out there. Well, we have a lot of other things for mm -hmm. the kids, too. We have a kiddie land, and uh, there will be a little trade show. Uh, so there's a lot to do for the whole family. Mm -hmm. Definitely, and I think it's interesting because, of course, you know, kids are very curious, and they're excited, and just to see all this and be up close and personal with all this is super exciting. But you also have the adults, the parents out there, or the family that's really excited as well. Maybe they themselves have never been um, exposed to something like this or been able to kind of see something so unique like this. So I think it's a great opportunity uh, for the whole family or friends to go on out and enjoy the air show this year. So I think it's really exciting. So as far as purchasing tickets, we know that 12 and under are free. Mm -hmm. um, where can people go to purchase tickets or on Online is mm -hmm. best. Our website is rgvcaf.org. Okay. And uh, you can you can get tickets online. That's that's the easiest way. But we have several uh, ticket locations. Mm -hmm. Two on the island, at the uh, South Pottery Island uh, Visitor Center, Perfect. and at uh, what's Alicia's? Oh, at uh, Water's Edge Gallery. Awesome. So there's different locations, and, or the website. and at the Brownsville Convention, uh, Visitors and Convention Bureau, 
and at Mail Pack Your Box store in McAllen. So we do have a McAllen outlet. Awesome, perfect. So there is multiple locations uh, for you to go and purchase tickets, or you can also easily just go to the website and purchase them there. Um, now, when is the event going to be held? That's important. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a week for this Saturday and Sunday. It's perfect. June 22nd and 23rd. Okay. Gates open at 9 o'clock, mm -hmm. flying starts at noon, and the show lasts about two and a half to three hours. How exciting. And so what are you guys looking forward to for this year? I mean, uh, is there anything really that you know you you yourselves can't wait to see well we have some great acts uh, mm -hmm. several of, several of them have been here before mm -hmm. uh, but uh, we have some new pieces that we're going to have one is a World War II aircraft called a p-39 Air Cobra uh -huh. uh, it's a fairly rare airplane there's only a few left in existence and the significance there is that this aircraft was actually based at the Cameron County Airport during World War II. Wow. Uh, and the, the airport where we're hosting the show uh, was an aerial gunnery training facility mm -hmm. in conjunction with the Harlingen Airport, wow. uh, which was why it was built during World War II. Uh, and so to have a piece of that history uh, that's actually coming back mm -hmm. uh, to where it served during the war is is pretty exciting to us. Yeah, most definitely. I think it's great. The piece of history that's right here in the Rio Grande Valley that people can kind of connect to. And, you know, there's always a valley tie somehow somewhere. So I think that's fantastic. So it is coming up. It's going to be a very exciting event. Um, you, you said the 22nd and the 23rd. You can purchase tickets online or there is m are multiple locations that you can go and visit throughout the Rio Grande Valley. Um, if you have any information or any questions you can call the number on their screen and ask you know maybe if you have a question about where certain of those locations are to purchase tickets you can go ahead and give them a call um, but this sounds like a really exciting time now what would you tell people who have never been um, what would you tell them to come on out and check it out Oh, I, they need to come out and spend a little time before the show looking at the airplanes mm -hmm. up close uh, visiting with the pilots and doing some of the other things but Wear comfortable shoes. Okay. Uh, you can bring your own lawn chair if you like, Perfect. or an umbrella for the uh, sunshade. No ice chest, and please, no pets. Uh, we're extremely pet friendly, mm -hmm. but uh, it's just not a good place for animals. And the explosions that go on with the show uh, will hurt their ears and uh, and excite them. So. Uh, Bring your own chair. Uh, if you want to buy a chair, you can mm -hmm. upgrade your ticket awesome. uh, for a slight uh, increase in the price mm -hmm. uh, where you can get a chair with the Lions Club or you can upgrade a little more and get into a tent area where you have shade. So you have a lot of options and yeah. it's all on the website. Perfect. Well, that's fantastic. Well, I want to thank you both so much for coming in today. Thank you for having today. us. And uh, it sounds really exciting. I wish you guys the best of luck and I'm sure it's going to be a great weekend. So definitely go and check it out, folks. If you're thinking about it, if you have any kind of interest, definitely visit their website just to read more about them and then maybe purchase tickets while you're there. So thank you both so much for coming in today. Thank you thank for you. having us. Thank you.